Okay, so moving on to the next topic, which is probably, it's already been kind of um, brought up a little bit in the chat, and I know it's a big, big, big one for a lot of people, so let me go ahead and switch screens to black. <laughs> there we go, now we're, there we go, okay, now we're working. Bam! The Detective Comics 587 Night People Batman got revealed it was initially teased with just like a silhouette but i think it was last week pre-orders and the official reveal for the night people batman went live however it was very distinctly made clear that was kind of a redundant phrase but it was made clear by mcfarland that this was not only a gold label but also an exclusive to the mcfarland toy store which meant that I needed to be there at 9 a.m. on the dot because almost, you know, as reluctantly, as reluctant as I am to say this, whenever something's McFarlane Toy Store exclusive, it's a very likely chance it's going to sell out. Regardless of how good or bad something looks, it's that exclusivity that I will admit a lot of people are kind of, for lack of a better term, indoctrinated in. As much as of a fan as I am of McFarlane Toys, I have it on good authority that there's some people out there who are going to pre-order something because it's an exclusive. And also because maybe not so much as loyalty to Todd, but rather loyalty to the dollar of being able to take some of these and upsell them. And their own storefronts and vendors at collectible, you know, conventions, stores, whatever. So... Seeing as that was the case and this wasn't going to be able to be found in traditional brick and mortar stores or on Amazon or in Big Bad or Entertainment Earth, I knew I needed to secure a pre-order and thankfully I was able to. So look for a review of this guy even though we technically have reviewed this figure before about five times. Yes, it is in fact the night. I was about to say Nightmare, Nightfall Buck one more time with a couple of modifications as he tends to do and it's quickly becoming the more definitive buck that McFarlane's falling on probably even more so than the hush buck and because it's more definitive than that I feel like this is probably going to be the buck to stay and I even touched upon it when I was editing my nightfall ranking video which a lot of people brought up something that I kind of have to own up to uh and i don't know why i didn't think about this but the dick grayson batman does have the night nightfall buck and that was that was a mishap on my part my apologies but hey i'll definitely dig them up and include them when we re-rank the nightfall bucks again because trust me probably this time next year or maybe even earlier than that we're gonna get an, another nightfall ranking because not only are we getting the silver age batman not only can i maybe make an exception and throwing catman again dick grayson batman that i forgot but also now this guy that's already four another additions on top of the five i've already ranked if we get like one or two three more we're definitely in store for a top 10 nightfall ranking and right here i would say for the most part it's a really clever utilization of the nightfall buck but at the same time i gotta be brutally honest i'm not terribly familiar with the night people storyline I'm more familiar with Nightfall than I am with Night People. I don't know what Night Night People is all about. I just know that he's from some of the images that I've seen for reference. He's supposed to be a little bit more gray than the dark jet black smoky gray or smoky black that he's got going on right here. I do actually like the yellow symbol as well as the design of the cowl. And uh, it just looks like he just kept the traditional Nightfall uh, uh, belt and just made it a little bit more mustardy. But apart from that, it's looking pretty similar to what we've gotten before. And the only thing that really makes this a massive, like, inclusion, a massive, like, gold label exclusive that's worthy of that $50 price tag is going to be not only the inclusion of this gargoyle, gargoyle set piece that he can kind of be um, put up on. Not only does he have this, it kind of looks like Scarface, right? Like the Scarface head, whatever that is. But also an assortment of hands. And then the big, big selling point, if you couldn't already tell, he comes with two capes. A sculpted cape that's chiseled out to look like it's blowing to his right. And then, of course, a cloth wired cape that he's going to be able to swap out for and you're able to pose. 
The only thing that I do think is just a little strange. It, oh, and then the uh, breathalyzer mask sculpt. So he's getting quite a bit. In fact, let me see if I can open a secondary page here while I catch up on the chat. At first, I thought that's a lot that they're including in the package. Especially with the functionality of being able to swap out capes. And then if we take a closer look, can I blow this up? I can't. Um, you'll see that, of course, per... <laughs> per um, Ooh, okay. I can see right here. So, he's obviously going to have some traditional Nightfall Buck accessories. So, he comes with the gripping hands, the fisted hands, the batarang, and the extended hands are different. I thought there were like, there were two sets. The Nightfall two-pack ones, and then these unique ones that have like different sculpted fingers. Like, these are brand new to this set. I can acknowledge that. I just thought that the... Uh, Nightfall 2-pack hands were also somewhere in there, but I guess not. So it's the fisted hands, the gripping hands that you traditionally get with Nightfall Bucks by themselves. The Batarang that we've seen time and time again. But then these really unique, uniquely gestured hands. The Scarface head, the Breathalyzer, which I thought was an alternate head sculpt, but it's actually just a mask. The Gargoyle, and then of course the Piece de Resistance. The card, no I'm kidding, the uh, Cape. Now, what Tom Bowling was kind of alluding to is I saw this major gap on the cloth cape and I'm like, wait a minute. Are they doing what I think they're doing? I'm going to have to wait until I feel it in hand to see how I feel about this. The cloth cape, if I can find a different shot. Okay, this is perfect. Will have the same kind of cutouts as the sculpted cape to make it look like it's tattered. Which means that it's going to have a different pattern from left to right. And like Tom Bowling mentioned, it's going to be all over the place. And on the one hand, I think that's kind of different and unique and interesting. But I'm going to have to wait until I have it in hand to see if I really vibe with it. Because it could make for some tedious posing. Or not. I don't know. It really depends on how strong the wire is. As long as it's as strong as the Nightfall 2-pack one. Uh, it looks like they're going for that nylon fabric as opposed to a regular cloth fabric like the um, like the uh, Batman Forever Robin or like the uh, the other Robin, the 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 DC Rebirth one. I think it's I think it was DC Rebirth. They're not going with that, which kind of makes me worried that we're not going back to that cloth. I know it's costly, but I feel like for a McFarlane Toy Story exclusive that sold out in minutes. Can we not do nylon and do a fa uh, an actual cloth, fabric cloth instead? You know, not this material again, because I've, you know, if we're doing this material, do it for the wide releases. For McFarlane Toy Store gold labels, I think this should have been like the fabric, like the one that you feel on uh, the Batman Forever Robin, because that would have been exceptional. And that would have made the $50 much more worth it, even though I still feel like 50 bucks is not too bad for everything that's included in this set but uh yeah what do you guys think because so far i'm definitely intrigued obviously put down my pre-order so i guys so i can cover it for you guys in a review but for the time being i will i would be lying if i said that i i'm not i can't bring myself to the hype level only because i'm not too familiar with night people and i'm not 100 certain where the demand for that was